Hey, this is Blake's Take, where I unpack customer experience in three minutes or less. Today, I wanna to talk to you about why when you have brand recognition, you have to work even harder for customer loyalty. Recently, a very famous New York Times writer went into a restaurant in New York City and ate there with three of his friends. The restaurant was Thomas Keller's, one of the most famous chefs of our generation, and it was called Per Se. I actually ate at this restaurant in Las Vegas, but I did not have the four-hour meal that cost $4,000 for four people that this gentleman had in New York City. And basically, the review that he wrote was so atrocious, it was embarrassing and cringeworthy to read. He called the mushroom soup about as appealing as bong water. That's pretty bad for a New York Times columnist to call Thomas Keller's soup bong water. But why this is interesting is I believe that when you are as famous as Thomas Keller or you have a brand that is widely recognized, maybe you're in the Fortune 1000, every single customer interaction is life or death. It is everything that every single time that you interact with that customer, no matter if you are <clears throat> plating them or bringing a napkin or pushing them in their chair, how you treat them is so important. And that's precisely what this restaurant did wrong in the view of this writer, Pete Wells. He basically said the staff was very snobby. One of, the, one of his guests did not like the wine and the sommelier tried to argue with the customer, uh, basically saying, oh, this is a good wine and you should drink it, which is a complete no-no. And they also did things like they were brash, they were rude, uh, they, kind of knocked into one of their chairs, uh, a napkin was knocked off and it was not replaced, and just a kind of an arrogant kind of atmosphere. And I do see this with some brands that are just so famous, they feel like, well, we don't really have to bend over backward for the customer because, you know, we're per se, you know, we are XYZ brand. But the truth is, no matter who you are, no matter how long you are in business, every single interaction, you have to earn that interaction with the customer and earn the loyalty of the customer every single day and hustle. And I think that perhaps Thomas Keller has gotten relaxed with all of his restaurants and he just feels like people will just keep coming and paying thousands of dollars no matter how the service is, no matter if the food is fresh, no matter if it tastes good or not. And this review was just so hilarious. It went viral on Twitter. I saw it was trending on Twitter and by the afternoon it was just everywhere. Um, so I think it resonated with a lot of people and the message that this can remind us all of is that no matter if you're Thomas Keller, no matter what, what your brand is, you need to work hard and hustle every single day, every interaction, just as if that person was a New York Times reviewer reviewing your restaurant for the world to see. And that's all for today. Don't forget to subscribe, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.